Hey everyone, Not Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make puppy chow. Okay, now this recipe can either be done in the microwave or on the stovetop. Today I'm going to use the stovetop. And there are a few different ways you can do it. Um, the recipe calls for nine cups of rice check cereal, but we're going to use seven. Um, I read a lot of the comments and it seems like seven um, works out better. Nine is just too much. And then you need a half a cup of wow butter, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, um, one and a half cups of confectioner sugar, and then I'm also going to add a half a stick of butter. Um, my sister gave me this recipe and she said that that just makes the um, chocolate chips a little easier to work with and um, easier to coat the cereal with. So we're going to add a half stick of butter. You don't have to, it's up to you. So the first step is we're going to, in a large saucepan or microwavable safe bowl, melt your chocolate and butter um, until it's completely melted and then we're going to add our wow butter to that mixture and melt it. Okay, that didn't take very long and I just went ahead and added my chocolate chips and my wow butter at the same time and that's what it should look like. Next we are going to remove this from the heat and add in our seven cups of the rice squares. Um, just a little hint, you can use any kind of the squares that you want. It doesn't have to be rice. You could use um, the wheat or um, whatever the other kind is. You could use whatever you want. I'm just using the rice. So let's go ahead and add those in. Okay, this is what your mixture should look like. Um, remember, you really want to coat those, so spend a little time at really mixing all of it together. And then what you want to do is line a parchment sheet, or line a baking dish with parchment paper, and then put your one and a half cups of confectioner sugar into a very large um, Ziploc bag, and we're going to pour our mixture in there and shake it. You could do this in steps if you'd like. It would work better. And then just lay it all out on your parchment paper. Okay, I poured about half of mine in, shook it all up, and then poured the other half in, and just really give it a good shake, and then just lay it out on your baking dish with par uh, lined with parchment paper. Okay, this is what the finished product should look like. Um, a couple of mine didn't have enough powdered sugar on them, so I just poured a little bit over the top and mixed it in with a spoon. But it looks delicious, and you just store this in an airtight container. Now we're going to have Taste Tester have a little taste. Okay, we're going to have Taste Tester have a little taste. Taste Tester! Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, come back and see us again. Say bye. Bye.